And now it's time to play in Ferrari's radical new supercar. Forget everything you know about Ferrari. They may as well have beamed this down from another planet. Take a look at the front, and it's got Ferrari written all over it. But take a look at the back, and you discover Ferrari have built an estate car. Can you believe it? This £230,000 machine has four seats and a bigger boot than a Ford Focus. They call it the FF. So that's one F for four seats, but the biggest surprise is another F for four-wheel drive. It's their first ever four-wheel drive production car and has been made simply because their customers asked for it. Apparently, their clientele were fed up of having to take the four-wheel drive Bentley or Lamborghini to the skiing resort and they really wanted to take a Ferrari. My biggest concern with this new FF is that the four-wheel drive would ruin the classic Ferrari handling because almost inevitably it tends to put a bit more understeer to a car. Also, it puts more weight over the front axle, which a front edge of Ferrari doesn't want. Ferrari have gone to extraordinary lengths to avoid this problem, inventing their own bespoke four-wheel drive system that adds just 30 kilograms to the car's weight. You've still got classic Ferrari handling, sharp turning and great acceleration out of corners with good traction. It is glorious. As much as I love getting a car sideways, Ferrari's customers wanted all-round grip. And that's what they've got. Even round the endless hairpin corners of the Italian Alps, the FF stayed planted. So, on the way to the skiing resort, the FF drives impeccably. But what happens when you finally get there and the roads are covered in snow? To find out, the Ferrari was taken to the top of the mountain, quickly. Welcome to Fifth Gear on ice. With no studs in our tyres, this could be an accident waiting to happen. This is sheet snow and ice. I've got it in snow mode at the moment. But the car doesn't feel like it's been held back. I just feel like I'm the most brilliant driver in the world. But here's the amazing thing. I can now actually switch from snow mode into sport mode. And now all the engine power starts firing up. The handling becomes more exciting, and yet still the car knows it's on snow and ice. So it still stops me bombing straight off the road, but gives me a much more sporting performance. And it sounds like a Ferrari. I can't believe I'm driving a quarter of a million pound Ferrari on sheet ice and snow. Grip, grip, grip. Unbelievable. There you have it, a Ferrari that can go anywhere. Oh, I want one of these. I want one. 